Hello, my name's Lyle Brotherton and I'm the author of the Ultimate Navigation Manual. In this short video I'm going to show you exactly what to do when all other means of contacting the emergency services from mobile phones to flares have failed and the loss of eyesight, a limb or life is going to happen without assistance. It's must know information. In January 2012, personal locator beacons, more commonly called PLBs, became legal to use on the land anywhere in the UK. They have been at sea for years. This, this PLB, is the most powerful tool for getting help in an emergency. And there are no subscription fees, there are no call charges. When a PLB is activated, it sends out a powerful distress signal to satellites that cover the entire globe from the Arctic to the Antarctic. And it transmits two things. It transmits who you are, and more importantly, it transmits exactly where you are. And it does this to ground control stations that monitor the Earth 24-7, 365 days of the year. From triggering this device, to a local rescue coordination centre starting the process of getting help to you takes on average five minutes. This particular model is the McMurdo Ranger. It's specifically designed for use on land with its non-slip impact resistant waterproof casing and it provides protection from harsh outdoor environments and it's got reflective detailing. This um, will give improved visibility in low levels of light but it also has two other important features. It contains a homing transmitter. Now, this continually broadcasts another signal on another frequency so that the emergency services dispatched to help you can home in on it. They can pinpoint exactly where you are. And lastly, it's got an ultra-powerful LED flashing light. That tells you it's activated, but when you press your special button, you can also send an SOS distress signal to speed up your recovery during nighttime rescues. The best part is that once you've triggered this device, it'll continue to do it for 24 hours. Reality, it'll be about a day and a half, but the minimum period of time it'll do it for is for 24 hours. Okay, once you've registered your PLB, it's unique to you. With the Maritime and Coastal Agency, they carry your details and your next of kin and their telephone numbers. And in an emergency, that will all be triggered. They'll be contacted. You don't need to do anything with it for another six years until you change its batteries, other than periodically check its functioning. Now, before I show you how to trigger this PLB in an emergency, I want to make sure that this device stays with you at all times. The standard lanyard that comes with it is frankly too short. In addition to that, at the end of it, it has a thin nylon cord which secures to the PLB here. But that thin nylon cord, I've just lost my PLB. It's much better to attach your PLB to a piece of military specification paracord, 550 paracord. That means it has a rated strength of 550 pounds. That's 250 kilograms. That's much more than twice my own body weight. Then, when you are out in the great outdoors, secure it to your person, not to a rucksack, because in slips, trips and falls, rucksacks become, become detached from people. I've got a nylon belt here and it's not going to come off this. And I simply pass the loop over the PLB. And the reason I've created a loop at the end is I don't want to be fastening knots when I'm in the great outdoors. My hands might be cold, as they are now, or worse still, I might be wearing gloves. Whereas once I've got this loop, like that, this lanyard is now secure to my person. And if I drop it, I'm not going to lose it. Okay, when all other methods of contacting the emergency services have been exhausted, you now need to trigger your PLB, and it's very straightforward. At the back here, there's a red tab, and you simply push this tab up. Once this tab is up, I need to pull it away from the body. You need a bit of strength for that. One sharp tug. You can do it with your teeth if you were doing it one-handed. I can now discard that. And you'll see here a few features. Firstly, it's got an antenna. And secondly, it has a second antenna. It's called a silicon patch antenna for the GPS satellites. 
So we'll deploy both of those. The first thing is to deploy the antenna. You simply push your forefinger against it and it comes up. Now an unusual feature about this antenna is you'll notice that that profile is quite broad, but if I turn it sideways on, it's narrow. Well, for this to transmit your distress signal, most effectively, it needs to be vertical, and in a strong wind, it moves. So face it into the wind. Secondly, this antenna needs to have a clear view of the sky for maximum satellite acquisition, so the GPS, the satnav, can determine your location. And this here is the on button. I'm going to fire this off now. So I'm going to face it into the wind. The wind's coming that way. You can now see my antenna is vertical. In addition to that, the GPS chip has a good view of the sky. And lastly, ideally, I want this antenna to pick up from the south. And the reason I wanted to pick up from the south is that in the northern hemisphere, the satellites that most quickly pick up your distress signal are in geostationary around the equator. There are ones that cover the polar region, but it'll take longer to pick these up. Now, if you can't get a clear view of the southern sky, it doesn't matter. The polar ones will pick you up, but they'll be slower. If you want to get the five-minute reception, you need that. So it's facing south, it's horizontal, it's away from my body, hence a good length of lanyard, and I'll fire her off. The LED starts flashing. Now, there are two flashes. It's going two flashes um, every second, and it means that it's attempting to get a GPS signal to fix my location. When this becomes one flash every three seconds, it's got a GPS fix and it's been established. And a little bit after that, maybe about a minute later, it's going to give one long flash followed by three rapid flashes and it'll do that every 50 seconds. It means that your PLB has transmitted both a distress signal and your location. If it's doing this for a day and a half, ideally, I couldn't hold it like this, I need to put it down. If I'm going to put it down, I would prefer actually to sit on the ground and rest it level beside me, or on a rock beside me. I'd be loath to take it off my person. This is my lifeline. PLBs, worth knowing.